Art Feeds is dedicated to making sure kids are creative and innovative. And if you're looking for a fun craft for your family this weekend, Meg Bourne is joining us. She is CEO of Art Feeds. She has two projects that she's going yeah. to walk us through. Hey, Meg, how are you? Hey, Meg. Hi, I'm doing well. How are you guys? We're great. So I can see you've got all the stuff laid out in front of you. We have some stuff here as well. What are we making today? Um, we are going to do a yarn monster that we at Art Feeds call Itty Bitty is the name of the monster. Um, so you just need a bunch of yarn, whatever colors you like best, and a piece of cardboard, some scissors, and then hot glue and googly eyes if you want to add googly eyes to your monster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see that I've already wrapped my yarn around my piece of cardboard. And the, the size of the cardboard kind of indicates the size of the monster. So mine is going to be a little bit bigger, but you can make it smaller if you want. And I've just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and made it pretty thick, you can see. And then to make our monster, you grab some scissors and cut. Well, first, actually, this is an important step. First, you have to tie around okay. your yarn. Okay. <laughs> um, don't forget that step or you just end up with a pile of yarn. And then you cut. Okay. And I use all different kinds of colors on mine, just what I kind of thought my itty bitty monster would look like. So you can use one color or several colors. It doesn't really matter. Perfect. As we see in art fees, there are no wrong answers. There's no wrong way for your monster to look. And then we end up, see, it kind of looks like Cousin It, doesn't it? <laughs> it does look like Cousin It. I love Cousin It. it. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've got this, and then you can trim your monster. I kind of like to give him a crazy haircut to give it a little bit more dimension. Yeah. Um, so there's lots of different layers here. And then what we do is take some hot glue and glue googly eyes onto the monster. So then you have your yarn monster. Perfect. That you can around. Yeah, and I also know that you you've got you guys have some printouts, right? We're we're coloring monster mashup and misunderstood monster printouts from Art Feeds. Tell us about those quickly. Yeah, so um, we have our misunderstood monster project. Um, we just like to say that maybe the monsters are misunderstood and they're not so mean. Right. Um, <laughs> But you can color that in and get that at artfeeds.org for free on the blog. And then for Monster Mashup, we have a template to create what I have here. So either you can color in the Monster Mashup template or you can create it with construction paper. Yeah. And you cut the monster into four parts and then you can, you can see I'm making the monster look different with these four different parts here. Yeah, there's four quadrants there. That's awesome stuff. Of course, we're going to have links to all of these things where you can download them on our website, gooddaynwa.com. Jackie's going to keep working on that. I am. <laughs> yes, 